This playthrough is rated M for Mature. You thought we were done with this game. Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're back here with some bonus content for Resident Evil 2, stuff I didn't show you when I originally played. So originally we beat Claire's B path, got the A rank, and got the un unlimited like Gatlin gun and submachine gun, which I want to show off there. I also want to show off how do you get the key in the first place uh, that unlocks like the alternate outfits and stuff like that. So uh, to get to get what we want, we're gonna have, go ahead and load the game first. Uh, and pull up the old file from that. So we want to choose the normal and easy data. Now there's something we got for beating the game on the rage data, which I, I forgot to mention at the time because I was just so excited for beating the game. But first, let's go to the normal and standard data and choose Leon A right there. And then we'll just skip everything because we've already seen it from the Leon path before. So yeah, unfortunately, you have to you have to hear some of it, but you can skip it all. So come on. Yeah, it, take, it takes a hot minute, but uh, as soon as as soon as we get into it, we can skip the skip the cutscenes. It just has to like let it start for a second. So yeah, we parted. Uh, Leon got kicked out of one side and cleared the other because the car happened to tw turn in the right way, but would have been the other way before. So the way to get the key to unlock the extra outfits is basically we have to go through this whole section without uh, picking up any items. Period. Like no extra ammo, no shotgun for the uh, keep or anything like that, so we need to avoid... For the most part, you want to avoid everyone. There's a few that you can't, but basically what you want to do is just pistol them enough to um, get past them. Freeze. Yeah, there's the crazy guy again with a shotgun. This is kind of... The, when you think you about this, is kind of a funny scene, mainly because of the Hold whole... We were able to it. just get in through the door by opening it. Like, couldn't the zombies have gotten in? And apparently he didn't lock it till we walked oh. in. I know the idea is the Sorry part that the car is supposed to be parked there to prevent them from breaking through the glass, which they still do anyway. But yeah, What's now... What's going on in this town? Because... Hold on. Yeah, see, now he locks the door. Like, why didn't he do that before? Do. But... By the time I noticed something yeah, you think you're wrong, gonna... The entire city Actually, was this... Infested is this supposed to be like a, a gun store, or is it just a pawn shop or whatever? I guess a gun store. you think you would have had so much ammunition to, like, just fight anything in here, but whatever. Anyway, we also want to not pick up any extra ammo, and there's actually an actual little extra thing is if we decide not to stick around and let the zombies... Well, let's just say the scene plays differently if we just straight up leave without waiting for the zombies to kill the guy. Yeah, so he gets killed either way. We just ignore it to and this is obviously if you're trying to speed run this you have to go through this as fast as you can uh too bad you can't really yeah really can't uh, problem with this section is you have to sh you can only shoot through this gate so and you need it to open which unfortunately means you have to let the zombies like push the door open so we have to see if we can get a ah, i'm not doing not doing so hot at the beginning I just have to let them... Okay, good. Yeah, sometimes I can get through this with very little damage, but I'm, I'll admit my uh, my uh, skills at dodging have considerably weakened over the years. When I was a teenager, when this game came out, I could easily... Like, after playing it for, like, weeks and weeks at end, because, uh, you know, back in the day, we only had so many games we could play, so I was able to master games, but nowadays, there's so many different games, and my reflexes are not what they used to be, unfortunately, so I can't... I can't, uh, nah. I can't just, uh, uh, I can't just go through it all with no, no problems. That's why I might have a problem with what I want to show off later with the hunk stuff. I may have to, I may have to, uh, add, uh, add something a little extra to my inventory just to survive it, but we'll see what happens, so. But, uh, yeah, I probably won't get very far. All right, there's the lady there, but she... I always seem to get keep getting hit by her, even when I want to try and... Want to knife her to death. Come on. I already... Ah. I was trying to, like... Man, I might as well just let this zombie get me. I... Yeah, I, I could never seem to, like, kill her in time without wasting bullets, so... Oh, well, the, only, the point is just to show you how to get the key in the first place, so after this part, it should be pretty easy. Let's see. 
There are some interesting tricks to avoid zombies. You have to get them into grab mode or whatever, but there's a way to like, oh, well, I got unlucky here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, but usually, uh, like, it avoids, it, 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 it's about the zombies basically barely grabbing you, and then, um, and then you, like, jump back to them, because I guess it's a specific animation. But, yep, there's Brad. He's here if you don't pick up any items at all, but I'm not sure how you're supposed to kill him. I think it takes, like, 20 bullets to blast this guy, so I think the idea is maybe to come back later or something. Yeah, see, I'm out of bullets. So, so I'm going to use a little... Let's see if I can uh, get past him. Oh. Let's see if I can get some... Uh, nope. Yeah, I wish this game had the... I wish this version of the game had the uh, the turn easily turn around button. Um, unfortunately, they didn't add that to like Resident Evil 3, if I recall. So, ah, fine. I'll just I'll just cheat. I'm almost dead anyway. So, in this version of the game, the DualShock version, which I currently have, uh, when I originally played it with Leon back in the day, I didn't have that version because my copy still worked. But now, since it's gotten old, I just had to change it out. But unfortunately, I can only find the DualShock version of it. But in the DualShock version, there's a little cheat you can do. So if we go into key config. We hold the R1 button and press square, I think it's 10 times. Then as soon as that turns in red, that means we've got infinite ammo now for the rest of the game. It does it to the knife too, which is kind of funny. It puts the infinite symbol on it. Um, but, oh, right. I forgot I go like super slow as dead, as a, as a almost dead Leon. So, well, like I said, I'm almost done showing like the Leon stuff. So. Actually, the idea was to, uh, oh, did I kill him? Oh, nope, not quite. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man, being, uh, being almost dead kind of sucks, actually, in this game. Like, if you're in, in a, on death door, because then you go, like, super slow. There we go. Anyway, after beating, uh, Brad, you get the special key, which, if you go into that one room, the, uh, um, where you can, uh, do the process the film, we can change Leon's outfit, but now we need to go back into the thing. I think there's a heal in the thing, so let me see if we can I might just skip to when I actually get to an item box, because that's pretty much all I'm waiting to get to, is, an, is a, although I think as soon as we get to do the one scene with that one officer, um, we can have access to an item box, I believe. Ah, the memories of playing Leon's past so long ago. <laughs> At least by the time I'm recording this, it's been a few years since I recorded the Leon path, so... Uh, crap. Alright, fine. I think we have to actually activate the... Uh, this scene to get to the next part, so... I don't know if I can actually skip the cutscene with this guy. I might cut it, because we don't need to see it again, so... Yeah, I just cut it because I didn't need to show it again. It's the same as before, so... Okay, so we do need to use the card. Dang it. I think there's supposed to be some healing in the, uh... In that item trunk, I believe. Like a first aid spray or something like that. Man, I, I should I should have just used the cheat just to get through it. Just to show you what happens if you don't pick anything up. But I wanted to show you that you can actually, like... Do it without, like... Without cheating. Like, it's possible. But, uh... Yeah, I just wanted to show off just so we could get to it, and now I've severely reduced my time because now I have to limp through every every little area until we get there, so. Now, how often do you see the dead? I'll, I'll admit that's probably one of the few issues I have with the game is that being in danger basically makes it to where it's almost a no-win situation. I mean, yeah, it's ob at, when you hit danger, it's obvious that you're about to die, so it's pretty, like, clearly the game's... It's like the, you know, HP and... Uh, Legend of Zelda, when it blinks all the time, it's like, hey, by the way, you need a heal. But anyway, we get the, uh, we have all the infinite, uh, weapons in the game, uh, because of beating the game as fast as we did, as efficiently as we did. So now we can do the rocket launcher, Gatlin gun, and submachine gun. Now, if you use any of these infinite ammo, uh, items, um, you will lose score. So if you're trying to get A rank again, but you want to take advantage of these, you pretty much can't. You have well, there you can use some of it, but it it does drastically reduce your score 
when you do it. And unfortunately, none of these have healing. Uh, you know, I just wanted to show off the Gatling gun, really, just because we don't get to see that in the main storyline at all. So, look at that, Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's awesome. It does a lot of damage too. Obviously, not as much as the uh, rocket launcher, but it's still it's still fun to play as. Yeah, the infinite rocket launcher. I thought maybe there's a maybe there's one of these switches over here that had like a. It's locked. Okay. Well, that's it. Okay, that's. I just wanted to show that off. So, just to show what the Gatling gun looks like and the. Uh, actually, let me see if I can. Let me show you, like, using a uh, liquor just for fun. I could have swore there was, like, an herb around here somewhere that I could use. I guess not, huh? I must misremember this beginning. <laughs> it almost looks like he's using the Gatling gun as a crutch. Actually, maybe we might get killed by the liquor, and then I can just reset to the main menu after that. There's the cutscene again. Oh, yeah, I guess you can't. Uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, it doesn't even... Uh... Okay, I forgot the Gatlin gun doesn't actually stun people. Huh. But anyway, okay. Well, that wouldn't have been cool if I killed it. But that's it to show the, the key thing. So now, the big thing about this episode, and this actually this ran longer than I expected... Uh, now I want to show you the hunk gameplay, so let's load that up. So if you beat the if you beat the game mode in A rank, uh, um, I don't know if it has to be both paths. I think it has to be at least one path has to get an A rank, whether it be Leon and Claire unlocks uh, the ability to play as hunk. Hunk is the fourth survivor character of the game, and let's uh, show off that gameplay footage. I forgot why he's called the fourth survivor. Um, uh, because let's see, Leon, I think it's the, maybe the fourth survivor out of, cause I, it's supposed to be out of the event that like that hunk is a part of Cause hunk is basically one of the surviving, uh, res or umbrella operatives that go to get the G virus from William Birkin during the cutscene and the, whoever a path character you play as when you see William get a uh, shot up by the umbrella core people. And he was one of them that got in up getting attacked by uh birkin but for some reason he survives and as far as i know it's canon that hunk survives just this mini game it's just a fun little basically a, a quick time trial to get from one area to the next i guess you could say that about any of the game but there's a time limit to see how well you can do and you get limited resources but let's play the game just to show it off g g virus I have to bring it to Umbrella. Alpha team here. Mission accomplished. Roger. We'll rendezvous at the meeting point. Alright, and that's where the meeting point is, so we have to go basically to the... It looks like we have to get to the rooftop. I think that's the rooftop. And the... Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, it is the rooftop where the, uh, uh, where the copter is back in the RPD uh, facility, so... Okay, yeah, it is time, so... You have to move. Now this, actually this whole thing is, oh, it's because I already used the cheat. Okay, so with Hunk, Hunk is, his thing is, well, one, this is hard mode. This is like super hard mode because Hunk is a very uh, restrictive character because I think on the guns, I think I have, you come, if I wasn't using the cheat, uh, the shotgun would have like eight shells in it. The Magnum would have eight shells. And I think the gun would have its standard 15. You would have 150 eight, uh, handgun bullets, 15 shotgun shells, and eight magnum rounds, and uh, mixture, which is just a standard heal with a poison uh, cure as well. And that's all you get. You don't get any other drops throughout the whole encounter. So you have to survive getting to the rooftop of the uh, Raccoon City Police Department without dying, which is hard to do. Uh, I think I did when I was younger as a teenager, but nowadays I don't know if I could do it. It'd take a lot, a lot of. Uh, build up i just want to show the whole scene i want to do it the first time without trying to 
use the mode. Let me actually let me see if I can turn it off. Maybe I can actually shut it off. I actually didn't mean to have it on while playing, so I don't know if I can reset that back to clear. Okay, there we go. I don't know if it keeps my ammo at whatever. Okay, it resets it back to its normal. That's nice. So, yeah, Hunk is the fourth survivor member, so we have to go through a series of rooms, which are obviously back to the police department, but they all have their different encounters, and you want to try and get through this with, like, using as little bullets as possible, because basically the ammo you get is supposed to be just barely enough to survive this whole this whole area. So you have to kind of, uh, we have to take advantage of manipulating the zombie uh, uh, patterns and stuff like that without actually getting attacked, but unfortunately, I am not very good at that, so we'll see if we can avoid maybe, uh, uh oh, crap. Run! Okay. Ooh. Sometimes I can get through that run without getting bit, period, but... And this, this, er, this whole uh, scenario is not very long. It's like, maybe, um, let's see if I can go around this way. Oop. Uh, it's like, you can beat this in like five minutes or something like that. It's very quick, but, uh, oh, this is one. This is, this could be a dangerous section too with the spiders. Because we only have so lim limited healing and we want to make sure they don't spit at us. Okay, got lucky there, but, oh, here, this next part I'm going to have to run because, uh, the dog can, uh, the zombie dogs that are here will, can just like wreck you if you, actually most stuff in this place can wreck you. This this mode is basically there for those who have beaten the game multiple times and want like a hard mode to uh, uh, to test their skills. And this basically tests your skills. And like I said when I was a kid, I was able to figure, do this, but um, as an adult, my uh, uh, my reflexes are not as good. So okay, well two two hits. Okay. Now let's see if we can get past this without any damage. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, Hunk. Although interesting to think about Hunk, Hunk's actually the most durable out of all the characters in the game. Not by much, but he's more durable than Leon, and Leon is one of the more durable characters in the game. Okay, this is the crow room, so I have to basically don't fight any of the crows, just run. Actually, most of the stuff in this game is just run, or uh, do just enough damage to the creature to not worry about killing them. But I've already taken quite a bit of damage, so my two hits is quite a bit in this mode. This room can be hard to do, too, because you have a couple of zombie dogs, so what I usually, unfortunately, what I usually do is I usually just um, just blast them once in the front and just see if I can uh, to distract them. I'm not here to kill them. That's too much. No. All right, I'll have to pause this room just because I don't remember this one as well. Okay, so, okay, zombie room. So, uh, okay, so let's see if we can avoid the Noid. Okay, I'm gonna have to hit the pistol. Ah, come on, man. I was hoping to like not take any damage from that, or like knock him down and then run around. And we're taking three hits. Ugh, that's not good. Although we get it, we get a uh, rest. Well, not rest here. We get a, a chance to like. Oh right, this room. This room sucks. <laughs> ah crap! Dang it! I was hoping to maybe kill those zombies before I got bit. But uh, I wasn't fast enough. Yeah, I'm already doing pretty poorly here. Just because uh, I'm already a caution, and I shouldn't be a caution by this point. So I probably use too many shotgun shells, too. This is a room where you can take a good quick minute to refill your ammo and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I might be dying here pretty soon. But yeah, uh, as soon as we're ready to go, we need to go through this door, so... This room can also be dangerous, too. Actually, most of the rooms can be dangerous. It's really about manipulating the AI patterns on, on creatures and stuff like that. And trying to, uh... Let's see if I can run away. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't even... I don't think there's anything in the, the actual, uh... Um... Uh, lockbox or whatever. Oh, this room's really bad, too. I could barely get through this room with, like, no damage. Yep. I took way too much damage. Oh, these guys are so cheap. I, I hate lookers. Like, they do so much cheap damage to you. Like, I, I have trouble just getting through this room without any damage, and I'm already at red caution mode. And we've got more dangerous creatures. We're not even halfway. Okay, I'm gonna have to use a lot of pistol bullets here because of this room, I ha you have to fight what's in here. Oh, God. Oh, I and he got lucky and hit me the first time, too. 
Oh. I wonder if I can get him to come around. Yeah, he, unfortunately, he did a lot of damage to me. Uh, these guys can poison, too. This guy will probably take my whole pistol, uh, whole pistol clip. This is where we use mainly our, our handgun bullets, is on this guy here. Back up a bit, just so I can... one more in here, unfortunately, though. Oh, oh God, no! Woo. Okay. I guess he spent a lot of his time... Oh, what? Oh, that was his body. I forgot those things that if you, uh, they can randomly, like, still attack you while, uh, when they're dead. They get, like, one free shot off on you. I'm gonna have to come back. Ah, crap. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, th this... Yeah, this, uh, I am not very good at the hunk scenario at all. Well, not anymore, anyway. Especially this room. This room can really uh, lower your speed count because you have to kill these things. You could use the Magnum here, but we have to use the Magnum in another room, too. So it's like a, it's like a choice, like, well, what, you know, what do we do at this point? Okay, come on. You're taking forever. Come on, follow me. Get over here. I can't run past you. Well, it might be possible, but I'm not very good at it. So, dude, come on. Oh. Too bad they don't—they don't even give you a knife to like try and. Uh... Oh, that's so cheap. Oh, he, he wasn't even moving. Oh, well, I'm gonna show him kill me. <sighs> Damn it. All right. So that's as far as I got. So now let's cheat to actually see uh, what you have to go through to beat the hunk mode. And then there's one other mode after that that's harder. Oh, that it's insane. Uh, I wouldn't behoove you if you were a kid to like use the uh, uh, the game genie codes on these just to be just to see how to get what like what you have to get past. Because uh, yeah, there's uh, after you beat hunk mode, there's something else you get to play as as well. But um. Yeah, too bad there's not like other than the hunk scene. Alpha team here. Oh yeah, he uh, if you be, if you die and you replay this, it immediately cuts him like taking forever to get up because it's like, oh, okay, you guys have already played this mode, so you don't have to worry about that. So, all right, let's turn on, let's turn on uh, infinite uh, mode. So, and I know there's like playthroughs online of people doing this mode without any damage, no commentary. And I would suggest, if you want to see how to do it effectively, go watch those. There's plenty of them out there, I bet. I'm just doing what I, my version of it, which is not the efficient version. So, for the most part, my strategy, get to, except to the land room, was pretty viable. I just what, didn't do a very good job with dodging some of the zombies. But you could take that to heart on some of this. I'll try to, like, explain how oh, yeah, and of course they don't have auto aim in this game either, which is weird. They had it sort of in Resident Evil 1, but in Resident Evil 2 you had to manually aim it. And then they brought it back in Resident Evil 3 that if you pressed, as long as you press the R1 button in the right area, you could, uh, you would, uh, you would kind of swivel towards the enemy. But yeah, for some reason in the second game they took that out. And also I think in the third game they brought in the, uh, oh yeah, this, actually this area kind of sucks because of the, oh, Snake? Oh, poison card. That sucks, actually. Yeah, that's the problem. I should have just ran past these guys. Because, po like, there's no cure for poison. or poison. So, And the heal, it's a standard heal, so it doesn't heal very much. So, Oh, right, I should have just run past this part. Killing the dog is pointless. Yeah, see, even with infinite ammo, you can have trouble with this. Because it's not, it's not infinite health. Don't want to get zapped by that guy. And there are two zombies back the other way, so. Yeah, I kind of wish I hadn't healed, so, because there's a couple of rooms up ahead I'm going to kind of need to heal, so. Uh oh. That. Like I said, until we got to that one plant room, I thought I thought I was doing okay, except, well, the liquor room was actually pretty bad. Um, 
that can get a lot of cheap damage on you too, because those lickers will just basically, like, hit spawn. Oh, oh, God, I got stuck. Luckily, they didn't start pecking me. I actually got lucky there, but because they could easily just, as soon as one pecks you, they all peck you. Oh, come on, man! <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just so bad at this. Oh, come on! I was aiming at you. This guy's supposed to be able to hit the dogs. We still have the bo we still have boss monsters in this place. Like, as I don't know if I'd say the final room is the boss monster. Well, next to the final room. But we still had to run across the boss monster at multiple times. I guess I wasn't aiming. Wow. I forgot that this game doesn't even have a general, like, if you're close enough, that mode. You have to pretty much just go, hey, you have to be on the ball, dude. I kind of wish they let Hunk at least grab one extra item, like some ammo and some health at like at one point. Wow. Okay. Huh. Yeah, even though I was generally shooting in the area, I, I still... Oh, and if you go back the way, like if there's... You can't go in a lot of the other doors, they just... Hunk will just say, hey, they're locked, so... If you're curious what the other rooms actually look like, uh, I don't know. I'm not doing. I'm not doing very well. I've taken like way too many hits for this run, even with having infinite ammo, which all infinite ammo just just gives me makes me a bit cocky when you think about it. Oh, and there's the. Actually, let me see if I can actually mess with the. No, you can't mess with that item trunk. Yeah, it's best just to run past these guys. And the liquor will drop here in a second. At least the at least the magnum one shots these guys. Now I think with the I think ah <laughs> holy crap ah I was hoping I would be able to hit him before he he smacked me. Yeah, see, even with infinite ammo, I'm still not doing very good. Intently, I could, uh, intently in this HP, I could take one hit from the boss, uh, but then I'll have to. Unfortunately, this is just one room. I have to, I have to wait for them to get here because those, other than poisoning me, those things do like way too much damage to uh, um, let them hit you. And these guys actually take, I think, four magnum shots. So there's that too. Let's see if let's see if he's already turned around the corner or not. Because the the plant guy will eventually head towards you, but I can't even tell if he's been hit, getting hit or not. Okay, he died. I heard his body collapse. You cheap son of a bitch. Oh, this room's gonna be nasty too. I have to basically turn a direction and turn around before I take any damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, these guys are pretty, these are guys are upgraded IVs or whatever they're called, so I need to, that's why I ran all the way back here so I could, um, usually you have to, you need to shoot them like three or four times to, uh, finish them off. Open. Yep, got hit again, because this game's cheap. Open. Okay. Anyway, let's go back up. And I think in this room is the. I think we encountered the bot, one of the boss here, I think, or something. Yep, we encountered Mr. X in here. So, ah. How many? Usually you would just run past him, either take the hit or or get to this area, and um, I don't even think he drops anything in this map. Nope. Okay. But yeah, usually what you want to do is you want to bring him back that way, run around him, because uh, yeah, you don't want to take a Mr. X can do a lot of damage to you. So yeah, I was thinking, yeah, I think the I was thinking that this is the Mr. X room. But, oh, here's all the crawling zombies. This room's kind of annoying too, because you have to you you need a like shotgun. 
like a lot of these guys, because otherwise it'll add up. Oh, come on. Usually I'd use the shotgun here is what I would use. I wouldn't use the, um, obviously I wouldn't use the Magnum. I wouldn't even use the pistol either. Actually, we're getting pretty close. All oh, right, super. The super liquors. Oh no! I think in this room, the way you get past them is you kind of need to walk around them. Oh god! Actually, probably. Oh no! Oh! I got caught in their freaking attack pattern. Yeah, unfortunately, they can just they can just keep hitting you, hitting you, hitting you, hitting you, hitting you. Hitting you. And just do damage because there's no like they don't have like a like a timer on them. It's just like well, too bad. And you're probably wondering why couldn't you climb the ladder to get to this part in the original area? Well, it's because it's not down. So. I wonder if I can hit that. I might just have to avoid it. Yeah, at least this one anyway. I think there's another ivy. I think it's down here. Oh, oh. Mother! And I got poison, too. Well, there we go again, so. We were actually, we're actually pretty close to the, 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 um, the end of that, actually, so. Alright, let me get back to this room again, um, and just show you the end, because I don't want to, I don't want to play through the whole thing and show you how badly I'm doing at it, so I'll be right back. All right, made it off into this room a little bit better than before. So luckily I can, uh, maybe we'll survive this this time. Now that, I've, well, one, I have infinite ammo and I didn't rush myself. So I just, obviously, realistically, I wouldn't spend this whole time trying to uh, cl uh, clean every single room out. I would just, you know, avoid everything. And I know you can avoid this one, the ivy or whatever you want to call it. Um, that would get that. I probably missed it quite a few times before I finally died. This room up ahead, this one sucks. I remember this one quite clearly. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get through this with like no damage at all. Guess we'll see what happens. This this is the mother of all of all nasty surprises in this game. Oh come I didn't even get a chance to shoot the dang thing. That's unfair. Oh my god, that is so unfair. That is like cheap. This is the zombie room, and I immediately got bit as soon as I stepped inside. That is unfair. There probably is a way to get through without taking any damage at all, but that is just stupidly cheap. Oh, man. Yeah, that's another room that sucks. Just It's just a bunch of zombies, which are easy to kill, but they're surrounding you, so it's like, you know. It, yeah, no. Anyway. Now, here comes the boss again. Come on, I know you're here. It's too bad you can't open this door just back this way and just get to here. Nope. You have to, uh. Come on. Oh no! I can't take another punch like that, by the way. Can you fall over? There we go, Jesus. That guy sucks. <laughs> That version because he takes more bullets than the previous one, so. Oh boy. Alright, let's get out of here.
thus Hunk gets away to give the G virus to Umbrella. And like I said, I think it's canon that he actually does get the virus to them, like a sample of it. Agents survived and successfully obtained the G virus. The virus went into the hands of Umbrella. And thus expands the other games as well. End of one nightmare, prelude to another. The only thing I'm thinking of the referencing is maybe what happens. Because in the. Well, I don't want to spoil the previous games, but like this. Like some story elements that get. That are in these games kind of almost get dropped or expanded to the later games, but those are like years later. And well, anyway, I don't know the whole timeline. Yeah, obviously, I got to see because it took me forever. And I was using the uh, I think using the, the code does actually lower your rank. Man, try to do this on a rank. I don't even know how to do it. And like, I'm trying to think what the fastest do to get through this is. I think it's like three something, three minutes and something like that to, to beat this. And obviously that's doing it legit without doing the cheat. Doing the cheat like reduces your score as well because it's an infinite uh, ammo thing. So so try to think about doing that without that. Now if you do actually, obviously I didn't actually do it, but if you beat this with A rank, you beat it with, a, you can unlock another character by doing that. So what I might do is I might try to uh, find a way to like beat this legit um, and show you that. Uh, but I'll I'll save that for the next bonus episode with that character. So what I'll do is probably off screen I'll probably try to uh, give myself some time and play through this again multiple times, see if I can maximize it. That way I can actually do this legit. I don't know if I'll show that on screen or not. I mean it would make more sense. But I always want to unlock the character because then I want to show that, and then I want to show uh, some of the extra stuff you get for playing. Um, in uh, the DualShock version, which is Extreme Mode, which we also unlocked. But I'll save that for the next bonus content. So, But for now, we'll leave it off here and just look at Hunk and his allies, just the generic Umbrella Men, uh, which is weird because Hunk kind of becomes his own character later on. And if you want to know what happens to Hunk, I think uh, there was a game called like Operation Raccoon City, which I heard was a terrible game, but it was supposed to be focused around like Hunk and the Umbrella uh uh, special forces or whatever but i never played it because like i said i heard it was a really bad multiplayer game but anyway i'm gonna leave it there so i'll meet you next time when i do the extreme battle mode that they added for the dualshock version of resident evil 2 so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time